October 23rd, 1989. In the middle of the afternoon, six massive explosions at the Phillips 66 Petroleum Chemical Plant rocked Pasadena, Texas. The blast, which measured at least 3.5 on the Richter scale, destroyed much of the plant, injured hundreds, and caused nearly two dozen deaths. Let's take a deeper look at this industrial incident in this episode of Today in History. The incident at the Phillips 66 plant, which produced upwards of 15 billion pounds of highly flammable, high-density polyethylene, resulted from a release of extremely flammable process gases during regular maintenance operations. It was a polyethylene reactor. That would mean that the chemicals that were released were ethylene and isobutane. Those chemicals are not toxic, but they are highly explosive. More than 85,000 pounds of highly flammable gases were released through an open valve almost instantaneously. A vapor cloud formed and traveled rapidly through the plant. In under two minutes, the vapor cloud came into contact with an ignition source and exploded with a force of 2.4 tons of TNT. The metal was flying in there and it's, uh, it's blowing up. Could you feel the impact? No, it knocked me about 30 feet. And you just got up and started running? We started running. I jumped the fence and ran over the pasture there and just kept on running. Do you have friends in there? Yeah. I got a lot of friends in there. People I work with. No telling how many people uh, didn't get out of there. 10 to 15 minutes later, that was followed by the explosion of the 20,000 U.S. gallon isobutane storage tank, then by the catastrophic failure of another polyethylene reactor, and finally by other explosions. The explosion killed 23 persons, all working at the facility, and injured 314 others. In addition to the loss of life and injuries, the explosion affected all facilities within the complex, causing $715 million worth of damage, plus an additional business disruption loss estimated at $700 million. Well, I, I think all of us, as, as Phillips employees, uh, feel a personal loss. The, uh, we know these people, we worked with them, and uh, we, we pray for their safety, and it's, it's a difficult time for all of us. A subsequent OSHA investigation discovered a lack of process hazard analysis, inadequate standard operating procedures, a non-fail-safe block valve, inadequate maintenance permitting system, inadequate lockout-tagout procedures, the lack of a combustible gas detection and alarm system, the presence of ignition sources, inadequate ventilation systems for nearby buildings, and a fire protection system not maintained in an adequate state of readiness. Many of the deficiencies identified at the Phillips 66 plant violated OSHA's PSM directives, which had been announced but had not yet been formally enacted. The Phillips 66 explosion was a tragedy that could have been avoided. The industrial safety standards that OSHA is charged with enforcing aim to prevent future tragedies like this one. What are your thoughts on this bit of workplace safety history? Let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss the next NASP Today in History.